Good morning and welcome back. This is Cindy with Cindy's Organized Chaos and this is my 56th vlog. So hello, welcome back. I'm going to jump right in and show you guys my morning coffee. Look at this. How pretty is that? She used my pixie colors on there. Look at that. So look at that vinyl. Oh my goodness. I could ask her where she got that. That is pretty. But you know what? She has a video on how to do this because this is Miss Erica Paxton here from 320, 321 Cup Designs. And she has a YouTube channel. So you can go on there and check her out and see how to make this lovely cup. But I, when I seen it, I just knew I had to have it. Look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. I just love it. I love the font she used and everything. Look at that. I can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty. Sparkles so much. Love it. <laughs> so I tried out some new stuff that I've never done before. Um, I did a smoke look on a tumbler. I did a unicorn burst and all that stuff. Uh, if you're part of my Patreon group, you got to watch me <laughs> kind of fumble with that. <laughs> but... Uh, I like how the, the my smoke look turned out turned out pretty good. I like it. It was so simple. I've never done the, the smoke look. I'll have to do something for you guys as well and kind of show you guys how I do it. If you've never seen it, I I mean, I know it's been around for a while. And then I also have let me pull it off my thing here. I also have a unicorn burst that I did. This is just uh, second coat. I mean, it still needs a little bit more to go, but it's in its rough stages here. <laughs> but I used fluorescent spray paint instead of acrylic paints because I know you guys use acrylic paints, but I wanted to try the fluorescent spray paints. And then I used the Tacket Method with white diamond. There we go. <laughs> I put white diamond over that. So that's how I did that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. What, what do you guys typically do on, on your... What, what are they called? Unicorn bursts? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up here. <laughs> but yeah, that's the first time I did that. I like how it turned out. Looks pretty good, even with the fluorescent spray paints and stuff like that. So I don't know. We'll have to figure out what we can do with that. But my tutorials this week, because I had a lot of people asking about the tie-dye tumbler that I did on my vlog. They wanted just a tutorial video for it. Cause you know, not everybody watches my vlogs, just some of you guys do. But then there's a lot of people that just watch my tutorials. I don't know. It, <laughs> some people watch both, I don't know. <laughs> but I did have some people ask if I could just do a straight up tutorial on, on the tie dyes. So I think we'll be doing that. And I have some more sketches that I made up of things that I wanna show you guys. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna be getting started on that today. I'm not gonna show it in my vlog, obviously, but I'm gonna do it in between my vlog and stuff like that. So that's what I'll be doing all day. I also have new glitters that are coming out. Um, I have to get some more stuff done with them and I still have to put all my little coasters together because I like to put them in coasters to kind of show off the color so you guys know what you're buying. That's, that's Viola. I have a stack of coasters over here. It's insane. I'll have to show it to you guys. It's getting pretty tall. But there's a, a lot of new glitters that I'm, I have coming out. Uh, I think I need to do something a little bit smaller because I don't have that many coasters. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what I do. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> But obviously, I'll make sure to do a full video of all the new colors once I have them done and everything. So, but I have some stuff I got to put on the turner and get those done and whatever morning stuff I got to do. Kids are going to be up soon. Husband's going to be up soon. So we better get moving <laughs> while we have a little bit of quiet time at least. But I got my coffee, my beautiful, beautiful coffee, and I'm ready to wake prep and slay all day. Let's do this. My space is a complete disaster zone. I, I don't know what I did in here. I'm just all over the place. 
I guess I better clean this up. I don't know. <laughs> All right, my epoxy table has seen better days. Please <laughs> don't judge my table. <laughs> I just gotta get this epoxy stirred up and get these tumblers on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Yes, I'm using the back side of a spoon here. These are just silicone spoons and spatulas that I buy from the dollar store. They work just fine. I find that if I use the back end of it rather than the actual like spoon part, the epoxy peels off way easier. So I just kind of scrape off my epoxy once I'm done and it peels right off the backside. And I just got it from the dollar store. So we're not trying to impress anybody while we're crafting. So, <laughs> all right, there we go. And see, I just scrape it off. And that little hole kind of helps too. It kind of comes through. And then I just peel it off when it's all done. And that's that's how I stir my epoxy. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get these cups on. going. Yes, I had a lot of suede and black there that I had to do lots. Those are all done. So I'm pretty happy with that. I still have a couple more things I gotta wrap up for the week as far as orders go, but moving right along. Here is my stack of coasters that I told you guys about. Those are all my colors, except for the shapes. I didn't, I didn't really have one for the shapes, but that's all. Well, actually that's not even all of it. I think I still have some in my drawer. So that's just some of my coasters with all my colors. <laughs> all right, so I, I wanted to go ahead and do up a coaster with one of my new colors. Now this color is a, let me move this out of the way. I already have my epoxy ready to go. I like to kind of let it sit for a minute before I do coasters, but this is a red, white, and blue mix. The blue and the red are metallic, as you can see, and the white is more of a matte finish. And there are actually little stars in there as well. Reflective red, white, and blue stars. You can see a couple of them on my fingers there. So that's that mix. Oh, that'd be great for the holidays that are coming up. There, there we go, that's better. That's a better view. But that's what those look like. I actually have a tutorial coming out this week where I'm using this particular glitter, so can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on a tumbler. But look at all the little dots in between. I thought that was pretty cool, I liked it. Now, so that's gonna be available soon. And I also just have the stars that are going to be available as well. And these are the stars, red, white, and blue. For those of you who just need just a little bit of an accent on your summary type tumblers and stuff like that, that's coming up. So great little accent for any type of like swirl tumbler or anything like that. So this will be, I still have to seal these. I just bagged it up yesterday. <laughs> These will be um, one ounce, and of course, these will be two ounce, so we get all that, so but that's those two colors. All right, let's go up and do up a coaster, because I gotta get my, my photos and stuff done. Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my glitter into my epoxy. I like mine nice and full, I know. I'm using a lot. Let's stir it up. I may need a little bit more. Have a look. There we go, and you can really see it up close. What do you guys think? 
I think that's pretty cool. I really like all the little stars in there too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this into my coaster mold. All right, I got that into my coaster mold. I'm just gonna tap it down a little bit because they are kind of chunky glitters there. So tap it, get those bubbles going. And I'll give it a good spritz of my alcohol here in about five minutes after all those bubbles come to the top. I'm gonna set that on my turner because it's the flattest spot in my craft room. <laughs> And then that will be ready for its photo shoot when that is all done. All right, back inside, I have all my little sketches made up of tutorials I wanna do for this week. I have all my tumblers ready to go, so I guess I better get started on that stuff. Okay, I'm outside because I gotta spray paint. I'm at the back of my property here, so. I don't know how, but the kids are still asleep. I, I don't know how that happened. So I'm able, I, I'm getting so much stuff done. <laughs> getting so much stuff done. All right, get this tutorial going. Trying to get my tutorial started and I've had to come in and out of my craft room a million times because I keep forgetting stuff, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, hopefully this is the last thing I didn't forget. Need my stand so I can prop my phone up. Okay. This is what I look like most days. I, just carrying around my, my stuff. I, <laughs> I can only imagine what the neighbors think. Just, I'm just randomly carrying this around with me. And they're probably like, what is that? What is she doing? Why is she always talking to herself? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Did you have a good weekend? Uh-huh. You did. What was the best part of your weekend? Um, that I went in the pool. You went in the pool. I know. We finally got the pool open. That's pretty exciting, huh? Uh-huh. Not too much longer until the end of school. And you're gonna be all done with kindergarten. I can't believe it. Yay! Are you excited about first grade? Mm hmm. I bet. So, we got this cat tree, and um, you know, it's for the cats. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put it yet because it's so tall. Remy likes it. For some reason, our two year old thinks it's for her. Hi, Charlotte. Hi. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you're supposed to be in there. So I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think it's meant for people. Yes, I, I don't think the cats appreciate that at all. I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Can you say hi to everybody? Hello. Hello. Are you excited about summer coming up? Yes. They have like less than a week, I think. Not less than a week. No, no. Less than a month. Less than a month. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Did you see that bright tumbler behind me that I'm doing? That's pretty bright, isn't it? Yes. What, what do you think I should do for a tutorial for everybody? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Okay. All right. Do you have any ideas for this pink one behind me? No? Okay. Well, all right. Well, I just wanted, to, wanted you to say hi to everybody because everybody hasn't seen you in a while. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tell everybody bye. 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 Okay, bye. You swimming? No. No? It looks like you're swimming. <laughs> oh, now you're swimming. Now you're swimming. <laughs> it's okay. Making good progress today. I was able to get a lot done this morning and well into the afternoon here. So I'm pretty happy with my progress. Got started on three tutorials. I got some more stuff done back there. Uh, sipping on my my afternoon drink which check this afternoon drink out how beautiful is this look at those colors isn't that beautiful I love that little extra sparkle she put into the epoxy to kind of make it just pop just even more that is just beautiful I love these colors so very pretty and just, there's a little bit of gold in there as well so pretty that is from just thompson designs jt she's on etsy facebook TikTok, instagram there <laughs> i just forgot what that was instagram i i'm horrible with instagram i i barely go on there anymore <laughs> i don't know what my problem is i barely do it but you can find her on all those places so you should go check her out show her some love i mean just look at that it is truly a walking art piece. Every single piece that I get from you guys, just, it's unbelievable. You guys just blow my mind how talented you guys are.
just beautiful. So <laughs> the two the two glitters that I showed you guys this morning, they should probably be available tomorrow in my shop. I just gotta finish up doing the photos and everything like that. This we could probably go ahead and pull this out of the mold so that way we can check that out, see what that looks like. We'll do that. Let me let me take it out of the mold really quick. Still a little soft, but that's okay. I think they recommend you take it out while it's still a little soft so it can kind of dry sitting on its own here. My epoxy looks a little matte here. Maybe it's my coaster, <laughs> but that's what that looks like. Okay. Anyways, I do that tutorial for the glitter that I'm using, that, that glitter, there we go. Um, I mean, I just started on it, so probably Tuesday for that one. And then my two other ones will be, I'm thinking probably one more this week. I don't know, maybe three. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I think I'm going to be pushing out two tutorials this week. So pretty excited for that. <laughs> now that I have a little bit more time on my hands, <laughs> getting, getting this stuff wrapped up here. It's like a sigh of relief. <laughs> I can focus on my glitter shop and on you guys here on YouTube and everything like that. So very exciting. But it's a beautiful day out today. The kids are out swimming in the pool. So I think I'm going to go outside and I'm just going to sit and enjoy everybody's company, enjoy my husband's company, enjoy my kids' company, and just kind of do that for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your night, and I hope you have an amazing week as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.